And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. The Inter starting lineup. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Lukaku. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Chance to finish! Martinez! Oh, there is the goal that gives Inter the lead in the final. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. glance you would think a strong possibility of a red card let's see well he has been dismissed and it was going so well well that's going to make it interesting now he just put his team under pressure here substitution time it is here Grealish gives it a go and fired against the crossbar. Excellent block. And over comes the corner. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Gundogan. Stones. De Bruyne now. Mares. Very quick thinking there. Federico Di Marco. Chalanoru. The ball with Martinez. Could cross it in here. What a vital intervention.
Grealish. Gundogan. Now with Grealish. Akanji. And back with Grealish. Erling Haaland. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So that comes away following the equaliser. Mares and he read it well defensively. De Frey. Oh, he looks threatening. Can he play it in? And looking towards the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Walker. De Bruyne. Mares. On to Walker. De Bruyne. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And played short. Mares and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Grealish. John Stones. Now with De Bruyne. De Bruyne now. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Dumfries. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Grealish. On to Holland. Giving the ball away. Di Marco. Oh, good vision. De Frey. Barella. Well, no way through. The first half here comes to an end. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Still passing it around with authority. Big chance! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Grealish. It's with Gundogan. City move it forward with purpose. A well, disappointing end to the move. Martinez. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Grealish. The ball with Rodri. Akanji. 
giving it a try they've given it away Mares De Bruyne Walker now with Mares can he put them in front oh the crossbar is still reverberating and snuffing out the danger well I have to say City are so unlucky not to be leading now they look a real threat at the moment well it should boost their confidence but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Jack Grealish a chance for him to get in behind maybe well he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much well as you can see City have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward they just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Taking care of business defensively here. Alessandro Bastoni. Inter in a position of menace. Martinez. Excellent defending. Breaking at pace. All in all, a broken counter-attack. De Bruyne. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Francesco Acerbi. Ten minutes to go then. Martinez. And now De Frey. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And now waiting to pounce. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. And a goal kick is the outcome. De Bruyne on to Silva Erling Haaland well, Manchester City a little wasteful in possession De Frey plenty of support here on the attack as there to be late excitement Dzeko and the cross not quite imaginative enough Dzeko and players waiting at the far post. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. the ball rolling again no end to the action it's the first period of extra time and I must say this has been a back and forth type of game Barella on the ball Bastoni Chalanolu Mkhitaryan back to Mkhitaryan and the cross didn't beat the first man. Barella. Now with Dzeko. Chalanolu. De Frey. Barella has it. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, 
Bernardo Silva. Holland! And still an opportunity. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Back to Chalhanolu. Dzeko. Now with Chalhanolu. Oh, what's he gone and done? Using his physical strength to shield it. And not cleared away properly. And able to get a body in the way. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Well, they fancy a short one. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And clears his lines. Chalhanolu. Now Mkhitaryan. Acerbi. Bastoni must score what a big chance that was keeper has the ball Silva and it's Ruben Dias Jack Grealish and the search goes on for a winner time is tight Grealish and now Rodri good work to win the ball back high up the pitch and it has all come down to this in the Champions League final a shootout to determine the winners Well, he has been dismissed, and it was going so well. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And he steps up to take the shot. And there it is. Perfectly executed. And confidently converted. Can he get the better of the keeper? Oh, a superb save. Clinical as always, in front of goal. Can he remain calm? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. As straight as an arrow. So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. In it goes! Well, this could be the one.
And the keeper denies them from the spot. He had to score, and he does. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Job done from the spot. So lethal in front of goal. And he steps up to take his penalty. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.